Hello everybody, today in this video, I'll be giving my thoughts and opinions on New Texas Giant located at Six Flags Over Texas in Arlington, Texas. Before I get into it though, if you like what I post, consider subscribing, it really helped me out a lot on my journey to 200 subscribers and my next milestone, 500. With that out of the way, let's just get right into the video. New Texas Giant has a height of 153 feet, a drop of 147 feet, a max speed of 65 miles an hour, a vertical angle of 79 degrees, and a total track length of 4,200 feet. New Texas Giant was also the first ever RMC conversion, meaning it was the first ever roller coaster built by RMC. This is very, very impressive for their first ever roller coaster, as some other manufacturers kind of had a rough start. But let's dive into the layout and see how New Texas Giant rides. So first, you'll take a right out of the station and go up the 153 foot tall lift hill. After this, you'll go down the 79 degree drop, which gives some great ejector airtime in the back row. Coming out of this drop, you go into a step up into three consecutive overbanks. Now the step up also gives really good ejector airtime, and the three consecutive overbanks provide some great whip in the back row. Now, I will make a point that I only rode New Texas Giant in the back row, I didn't get any middle or front row rides. After these three consecutive overbanks, you'll go into this one ejector airtime hill, which for some reason was by far the best airtime moment of the entire ride. It was kind of crazy. But after this, you'll go into the mid-course brake run, which kind of reminds me of Steel Vengeance's brake run, where it doesn't slow you down, like, at all. But sometimes you did, and you wouldn't even notice it, and it's awesome. Coming out of this mid-course, again, you'll get some whip in the back row, coming off of that mid-course. And then, this is where the most exciting part of the ride is. After the mid-course, you're going to a series of airtime hills, off-axis moments, we're just wrapping around the ride structure, coming all the way back into the final brake run. All of these moments give great ejector, and that's something I should also point out about this ride. This ride is a straight up ejector. There is no floater whatsoever. You're always going to come out of your seat on this ride. Let's talk about the restraints. So the restraints are lap bars, but New Texas Giant is different because it uses Gerslauer trains on RMC. And New Texas Giant is actually one of two RMCs that has this, the other one being Iron Rattler at Fiesta, Texas. Now, I know not many people have ridden these Gerslauer trains that have it on an RMC, so I'm going to give you a rundown. So the restraint does have shin guards, but it's not like the RMC shin guards. It's more like a metal bar that's just kind of attached to the restraint. So it didn't really bother me that much, and I didn't even notice them the entire ride. And the lap bar itself has like a, this little grab handle thing that it kind of just sticks out and it's very small. So there's not really much to grab onto besides that little tiny stub that just comes out of the restraint. But all in all, these restraints were very comfortable. New Texas Giant also features seatbelts after the tragic accident in 2013 when a woman was ejected from the ride. But I don't really notice seatbelts on roller coasters, so I don't really mind that they're there. Just quit complaining, guys. Seatbelts are okay. New Texas Giant features three trains, each with a different color. Blue, a black kind of color, and red. It's kind of like Canemonium, where Canemonium has blue, red, and orange, but New Texas Giant is black, blue, and red. Now, when I was there, the black and blue trains were the only ones running, and this roller coaster definitely has a very Texas theme. The trains themselves are like Cadillac cars, and the station is probably like one of my favorite stations of all time. For one, there's theming in the station. Like, like I said, the trains are themed to Cadillacs. There's actually a Cadillac in the station. I think it's all the way in the back, so if you ride the back row, you'll definitely see it. And the best part about this ride is the chicken coop. If you chicken out on this ride, or you're just a bystander, they'll make you stay in the chicken coop and it plays chicken noises, and that is hilarious. I think more rides should do this, and honestly, I think it's a good thing that it's there, so that if you're scared to go on it, now you have motivation. You don't want to be a chicken insane in the chicken coop. I don't know, I just thought that was kind of funny. But all in all, I give New Texas Giant a 10 out of 10, I would change nothing about it. And overall, this ranks number 2 for me, behind Skyrush. But that's all I got for you. But that's all I got for you guys today. Thank you all for watching. Again, if you like what I post, consider subscribing. It really helped me out a lot on my journey to 200. Drop a like down in the video below and tell me your thoughts on New Texas Giant or just RMC roller coasters in general. But that's all I got for you guys today, and I'll see you all later. Bye.